All right, ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing today? Now, I have been gone for the last little while because I've been extremely busy. I've been making a lot of videos, music videos specifically, because your boy needs to pay his bills, and uh, unfortunately, YouTube just doesn't cut it yet. We're getting there, but we're not there yet, and maybe with the new YouTube uh, applause, or what the fuck is it called? YouTube thanks. The new YouTube thanks system, Hopefully that little YouTube thanks system, if I ever do go viral on certain videos, hopefully those little uh, dollars that you guys throw, those little bands you throw my way might uh, help me go full time. Regardless though, um, I'm very excited to make this video because today we're talking about a piss baby. And not just any piss baby, a hypocritical piss baby. You see, a Cheeto is a Christian. He's also a piss baby. I, I think... You know, just, just for the meme. I'm gonna pretend those two things are interchangeable. Now, do I believe that? No. But it seems that a Cheeto gets a little offended when you go after his religion, right? When you make a little joke about his religion. When you when you go out and you say, hmm, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus sucks. I don't believe in Jesus. That pisses him off. That makes him cry. That makes him mauled. That makes him want to cancel you. That makes him talk about your sponsors openly in a video and try to get you canceled, try to get your livelihood taken away from you. Now, Weast is not a, a character I'm a huge fan of. He's a uh, Twitch streamer. I think he's made a couple YouTube videos. I'm not super familiar with him. I've seen one Weast video and it was when he apologized to Slazo. We love to see apologies. Um, <laughs> but outside of that, I've not really seen too much Weast content. That being said, I think it's a funny meme that on Easter, he decided to name his stream on Easter uh, something like Jesus died, rip elbozo, why is there a, even a bunny involved or some shit like that, right? Clearly a facetious, jokey, stupid little fucking title, right? Well, Vince Ka, who is like one of these, um, I guess, neo commentators that are on shorts. Um, they're out here making essentially like TikTok commentary, which honestly is a smart decision. If, I, if I'm, you know, going to be critical, I'll, I'll be a little uh, uh, generous as well. Um, exploiting shorts for, you know, a quick rise in the algorithm is a great idea. Uh, why am I not doing it? I, I'm lazy. That's that's why I'm not doing it. That being said, Vince Ka and uh, Achito were both extremely offended because they're um, devout Christians. You know, they're, uh, they're very... <laughs> very um the fucking gay i don't i don't understand how how you can like let's let's just clear this out of the way you guys are gonna disagree with me on this i don't care religion bit of a cope bit of a cope it's it's i'm just gonna say this i've always felt this way as somebody who's baptized catholic i've always felt religion is uh kind of kind of the thing that we use to get through the day you know when uh, bad things happen when you are um down on your luck you turn towards faith to guide you you know you turn you turn towards god a higher power to let you know things are okay because oftentimes is difficult it's a bit uh sometimes y you need a map to navigate the uh, seas and i find a lot of people that are, are lost in life or you know obviously in some cases you have people that are just born and raised um christian or whatever religion that they're in but i find a lot of times people who are lost in life you know drug addicts or literally just like people that are down on their luck in whatever way um find religion because it's an easy guide for them to follow now am i criticizing that not at all i don't think there's any issue with having um, you know, a cope in life. I think we all have our copes. Certain people cope with uh, drugs. Certain people cope with faith. Certain people cope by playing fucking video games, okay? Uh, ultimately, stress is a thing. And anything that you can do to make your life a little bit more fun and easy, I am all here for it as long as it doesn't hurt people, right? And for some of us, some of you, for example, your cope is watching YouTube videos. You find it fun to watch people make fun of other people because you're a big commentary fan, right? And so some of you may even watch a Cheeto. A Cheeto is a content creator, obviously. He's a commentary content creator and he likes to, uh, essentially he likes to make videos about uh, Nikocado is dying for views. So it's okay. We, we, we can make fun of him all right the worst karens of all time okay so let's make fun of of uh women that are angry okay okay that i mean i think it's funny you know what i mean that's that's fine weast is a terrible person okay well that, that's kind of what this is all about ultimately it seems that it's fine to make fun of feminists fine to make fun of body positive people and fine to make fun of pretty much anyone as long as they don't 
agree with you. You see, what, what I've noticed with a guy like a Cheeto, a Cheeto is a pussy. And I, and I hate to break it to you guys because I know some of you are a big fan of him. But unfortunately, it's the case. See, the thing is with people like him, and it's kind of a criticism that was made and levied at Leafy back in the day. Essentially, the whole thing about Leafy was he couldn't take it. He dish it out, but then the second you talk about his little chinny chin chin, he crumbled. And in fairness, the evidence was there. After iDubbbz exposed it, you know, the jokes came in on Twitter. And in Leafy's response, well, clearly it offended him. And now we look at a cheeto. We take a look at his content. We take a look at what his reaction was to the whole thing. And essentially, when a cheeto's being trolled, he can't take it. A little joke about religion, a little joke about your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, broke you. You immediately, you immediately ran to the teacher. Your little tattletale in the schoolyard. The second you, you were, you were fucking fist fighting this, these little midgets, and and then the second somebody your own size came and said something you didn't like, you ran to the teacher to tell because you're a pussy you went and you said hey guys g fuel sponsors this guy i think i think that's bad i think that's bad because they're a bad company and he's a bad guy i'm not saying that they should cancel him okay i'm not saying they should not pay him but you know i'm bringing it up why are you bringing it up then retard why the fuck why are you bringing it up if not to cancel him like use your brain use your brain obviously the whole reason you brought that up is because you want something done Am I wrong? Am I right? Because this is literally the whole thing that happened with Ethan Klein and Keemstar, right? Ethan brought up, hey, he's uh, he, he's always wearing he's always wearing the G Fuel hat. It's like it's like uh, they're they're intrinsically linked, and they should stop that. They should they should stop supporting him. I can't believe they support such an openly bigoted person as Keemstar, so, somebody who's so controversial, right? That's literally what you're saying. You're saying that G Fuel should cut ties. You're saying that G Fuel should cut ties with Weast. And regardless of how you want to spin it, as it's some sort of meta commentary or some shit like that, whatever the fuck you want to say, clearly, clearly, your goal in this entire situation was to fuck with Weast's money. Not to mention, you then go after his Twitch live stream by stating, hey, Twitch, why don't you look into this? Why don't you ban him? Why, why have they not done anything about this? right? I bet if I talked about another religion, I'd get in trouble. And I agree. I agree with that point, actually. I think if you talked about, you know, Jewish people, if you talked about Muslims, if you said, uh, I don't know, for example, if I said all Christians are pedophiles, I probably could get away with that. But if I said all insert race here are terrorists, I probably wouldn't get away with that. So in that point, I do agree with you. There is a hypocrisy. However, you know better than to target a specific person and levy these types of criticisms towards them and the platforms that they're on at the same time. If you want to make a little criticism of Twitch, do it, but don't involve Weast, right? If that's your whole issue, oh, well, I think it's kind of fucked up that Twitch allows this shit, then talk about Twitch. Don't talk about Weast. And I'm not a big Weast supporter, okay? I'm not a big fan of Weast, all right? I don't like Weast. I don't know who the f You know, I, I know Weast for one thing, okay? I know Weast for one goddamn thing, okay? But if you're in the commentary community, you know fucking better, you know fucking better than to go after somebody's sponsors. You know better. You you clearly, you have gamer subs. How would you feel if gamer subs dropped you? Because of your takes on feminism, on your because of your takes, because of your takes on body positivity, when you make fun of fat people like Nick Okada. What if they came after you and said, hey, gamer subs, why are you sponsoring this guy? And then they dropped you. I'm assuming that's a large part of your income. I'm sure you wouldn't be very happy if it happened to you. So why is it that you're doing it to other people? For the record, I'm lazy. That, that's why I switched cameras. The SD card, it's in my computer. All right. <clears throat> now that tangent's over, um, if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see me actually go after uh, a Cheeto for real and, and dive a little bit deeper into his uh, hypocrisy as a, as a commentary YouTuber, let me know. Leave a comment, all that shit. Uh, <laughs> I have shit to do, so I'm going to peace out now. Thanks for watching. Take care and uh, adios.